So I'm joined by uh, Matt Atherton, the uh, player manager for Exton Villa. Congratulations on a win today. Cheers, thank you, appreciate it. Uh, well, obviously it's like a bit of a cup final for our lads and uh, yeah, they've done themselves proud to be fair, so yeah, we're buzzing with it. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of fans, I mean, we're just glad to be, be out of the house, to be honest, you know, but um, I think we've all been surprised at the quality that your team have had today. Thanks, we appreciate it. We've got a great set of lads. I said before the game, we've got players who could play higher. I think the club's set, hopefully you can see that, it was set to go higher now, so fingers crossed that we a league game next year or in the next couple of years. Yeah, so what, what are your plans for the club going forward? Uh, so we applied for the counties this time, but with the restructure, it just meant we didn't quite get taken this time, so next year, if we win the league, hopefully, we've got a stand that way you're sat now is hopefully going to be put and then we're ready to go next year. Now I've spoken to a few non-league managers in the past, I know they're very picky about their pre-season friendlies because you never know who might want to poach your players. <laughs> There's a few players out there who did really well, what do you reckon? Yeah, we, we've got some brilliant players and, and the best thing about it, they're loyal as well, so we've got a few lads who've had offers higher and sometimes it's one of those where it's a, it's a border where actually some of them probably deserve to play and if they go, they'll go with the best wishes, but because we've got a great group of lads, we want to stick together and win something. Uh, and your thoughts on the sending off? Um, they both went in strong. They both went in very strong for a friendly. I don't know, it's one of them, it's half a dozen or one. It was a yeah, soft tackle, but you've seen them given. And uh, I don't know if you know uh, Bibby. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know him? Who is he? So Pat Bibby is our striker. He scored two goals today. So uh, he's, uh, he's our, our kind of main, main man up front. Right, so that makes sense because did you see the lad painted in orange with an orange flare yeah, with yeah. Bibby 9 on his back? So do you know who that guy is? <laughs> no, I've never met that guy in my life. So <laughs> our new number one fan, though, so it's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, you said it was a cup final for your uh, players yeah. today. I mean, I'm guessing the attendance today is probably the highest it might have been in a while. Yeah, so we, the, the only other games we've had really high attendance, we've got Chorley around the corner. We play them every preseason but yeah I think 300 especially it's the first time we've played since we've had the work done as well so it's been brilliant and uh, a message to the Exton Villa fans and your uh, your man in orange what would your message be to them <laughs> yeah to the man and his dog uh, no just thank you thank you for supporting us the biggest thank you needs to go to the volunteers we've had I think about 20 people volunteer behind the scenes today which for club our size is, is amazing and before I let you go you know you, you've seen Berry AFC today you've, you've beaten us as well what's your assessment of the side you've seen today they're a good side they're a strong side I know a few of the players and then uh, I think they just tried to play too much and, and we were set up to play on the break so it suited us and uh, I think if they went back to front they might have hurt us a bit more because I'm not sure how we kept up with a few of them but um, no we'll take the win. Okay so don't don't pass on those notes to any opposition managers <laughs> for us will you? <laughs> I won't do, I won't do. <laughs> right well cheers well congratulations cheers. today and best of luck for next season. Appreciate it, thank cheers. you. Nice one. Bye.